What's happening? It's Nate. Today, I'm going to show you a really quick, easy, digestible tip about how to coil on your serve and get more power. And it doesn't have anything to do with the arm and the upper body. This is really, this came about because we did a video a while back about not forcing a knee bend on your serve. Martin and I talked about how a lot of players disrupt, they end up with a disjointed serve, they're trying to force a knee bend and it's causing more problems than it really is, or really than it's helping. And so we had a lot of questions about, well, how to coil? What's a great way to think about coiling without just thinking about your upper body because this gets, this is just part of the equation. And so the tip is, I want you to imagine there's a chair that's just slightly behind you in its place six, maybe eight inches out into the court. And when you're going through your service motion, you're going to bend forward as if you're trying to sit in the chair, right? Think about getting your, your caboose, right? Your buttocks, for the lack of a better word, out to the chair. Now, this is very different than what we see a lot of times where players are going through their service motion and they're sit, bending their knees as if they're sitting in the chair behind them. That's not what we want to do. Now, on a platform, you're going to find something a little bit more in between. On a platform, if you're not pulling your back foot up, it's going to be harder to get into this position. Obviously, on the pinpoint, it allows me to get a little bit further out. So pinpoint, chair maybe six, eight inches, platform maybe three to six inches, right? All right, so let me show you this and I'll, I'll really talk about what this is doing through the serve as I'm working through this motion. All right, here we're taking a look at my serve and what I'm really focusing on is keeping my upper body, especially my hand and my arm, super, super loose. Now my toss, ordinarily, if I was sitting like a kicker, I may toss parallel to the baseline and this would really exaggerate that rotation, that coil. But I'm hitting a flat serve and my preference is to keep the toss more towards one o'clock. So it's really important that I focus on getting the lower body out into the court. And you can see here, it forces the knee bend, but it's organic. I'm not actually trying to bend my knees. It's just a byproduct of sitting in the chair. And this allows the kinetic chain to connect so that I'm working from the feet to the knees, the hips are in through that rotation, the oblique stretching, and then really working from the shoulders into that rear lateral tilt into shoulder over shoulder after the finish. Now at the highest level, you take a look at the Sam Gross and the Andy Roddicks of the, of the game, they're gonna actually look like they're in 90 degrees sitting in a chair. But as we get older, myself 44, the knees aren't gonna let us get that low. We just wanna have this visual and really have this direction of where the lower body, the glutes are going in order to get the proper coil and knee bend. All right, so really hope that tip helps and clarifies some of the previous information from the video about naturally coiling to create the knee bend and not forcing a knee bend. Remember, you're not sitting in a chair directly behind you this way, you're getting out this way. And I also wanna clear up a, a, a while back in coaching, we saw a lot of times players were being coached to get their hip out into the court. And although that's, that's fine, this is still a really good knee bend. You can see the glute is still working its way this way and not back this way. Be careful of that particular tip because I don't want you to focus on the hip itself. If you're focusing on your hip getting this way, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna overstress the lower back and the hip and you're gonna start creating it, it, you're gonna start creating an environment to where an injury may happen and likely will happen, all right? So instead, focus on sitting down in the chair this way in order to naturally get that coil and get big power. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you know the drill. Hit that like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And be sure to check out the link in the comment section where you can try player court absolutely for free. And you know what we do there. Introduce you to other players in your area lessons, you name it. It's the full ecosystem for tennis. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon.